few of the things we've done to make body armor a little more civilized. This is uh, something that we've uh, produced in the last uh, eight months that we call the base system, which is a spinal column and belt that we can attach to any vest or plate carrier that has molly web. These are built with uh, what we call a receiver that allows us to have a quick attach to the body armor that replicates the molly web going across. This has to be placed so that it is covering at least to some extent the plate in the vest because the plate itself becomes part of the frame. We add the base system on, base by just uh, inserting. It comes with a plastic adjuster if you don't have hands of steel and uh, basically we're able to remove it if you're doing fully vehicle-borne operations or leave it in place if you're uh, doing some dismount or being dismounted all day. We're going to turn uh, this gentleman around. Oh, it's you. Oh, God. Sorry. <laughs> basically, once the, the base system is on, in order to use it, you shrug your shoulders up, you fasten the belt, and pull it tight, and then relax. And uh, if you turn sideways a bit here, we end up with pressure taken off the shoulders. This is not a complete subframe like some of the more experimental systems. This is something where we were trying to produce a solution that could do everything easily. And having the attachment here makes it simple. And modern plates or vest systems that have the cummerbunds basically work very well with this because the cummerbund is able to actually help support the front plate and its weight as well. This is something where uh, the most common uh, response we've had uh, is uh, from anybody with uh, one rocker or more saying, this is going to add years to my career and uh, we're hoping it does. Now we have a second feature that we do to make gear play well with armor and that's what we call the mystery cinch. That is this pair of uh, straps that are locked in to the molly web on his vest at about armpit level. And what they're designed to do is allow a person to put a pack on. And black on black isn't that good, but whenever you put a pack on, you end up with the strap going right through your armpits. It's compressing your nerve clusters. It is also restricting blood flow. And we're doing physiological testing that, uh, you know, on uh, large groups of people this month up in Montana State University, we're finding you can lose as much as 50% of your grip strength in 15 to 20 minutes with a 25 kilo load carried this way. Normal sternum straps don't really do a heck of a lot, except entangle with your gear, because you're still stuck with the stra strap going through your armpit. The mystery cinch allows you to extend the strap a little ways and then uh, fasten the buckle in place and then give it a pull. And what we've done is we've pulled the shoulder pads out of the armpit we have locked the pack. Do me a favor, give it a wiggle. No, come on. The pack is locked to the mass of your front plate so it's not sliding around, and you're not going to get clotheslined by a sternum strap. The other nice thing about this, besides the fact that uh, you're no longer having your hands go numb in a half hour or 40 minutes, is that you pop that open and the pack comes off. One last thing is that if you're walking around with the strap flopping loose, no one would ever do that, <laughs> and you get hung up on something, we do not want someone getting hung up on a piece of our web gear. So, at 130 pounds of pressure, this pops out. And while I had to reef on it to do that, if you just twist your body, it's easy to develop that much pressure. So uh, this is uh, all reasons why this is now issue across the U.S. Marine Corps with the new Marine Corps PAC system, and that's something I'm uh, proud as punch about. Thank you. <laughs>